Hi, I'm Nicholas Howard. You're watching Studio Q. Check her out. Studio Q Show. Now you know. I am here with one of the loves of Mickey Howard's life, her son, Nicholas. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. So tonight you got to see your mother perform probably for the millionth time. How was it? It was awesome. Great. It was uh, great. What do you love about her performing? How she gives it to you, like real and, you know, she, all the soul and, you know, she gives, gives, she gives, you, gives you everything mm -hmm. of herself and everything. So what was it like growing up with a mama who sings like she does? It was awesome. I got to go places the normal kids don't get to go. And then you got the other kids jealous because, you know, I, I get picked up in the Rolls Royce. And, you know, they're like, who, who's that? Well, that's, that's, that's my mom. <laughs> we got another one at the crib, you know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was awesome. So uh, you got to ride in Rolls Royces, go to concerts, meet, like, all kind of celebrities. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah my number one... Well, actually, my top two. My number one, I got to meet Bobby Brown. And then I got to meet Michael Jackson. I was actually in the video, 91, but you never see me. I was in the back. Which one? Uh, the Remember, Remember the Time video. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah, it was, um, it was, there was a part where the Egyptian ladies were going around Michael, and you see, like, some kids behind him. Yeah. Me and my brother were, were one of the, or two of the kids back there. Well, how fun was that? That was awesome. We got to take a picture. You know, he, he explained to me about why he wears the tape on his finger. And, and why did he wear the tape on his finger? Well, well that, at, that type of, at that particular time, he had, um, the day before, he had shot the, um, the, the black or white video. And he was, remember when he was smashing the, sh you know, and he had cut his finger open and he had to put the thing. So it wasn't just for show, it was actually something from an injury. At, at, that, at that particular point in time, that's, that was why he was wearing the tape. Yeah. So what was that like for a little kid being on a set with Michael Jackson? It was awesome. You know, me and my brother used to watch um, Moonwalker and you know, all kind of, you know, we used to, my brother used to emulate Michael and I was always Tito. <laughs> Now, wait, why were you always Tito? Because I was chunky. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what is one of your favorite songs by your mom? Um, it was it was from her Come Share My Love album. It was called Can't Wait to See You Alone. It was her and um, Lamel Humes, who actually used to work with her a lot, a duet. It was, you know, it was a really good song, and I feel it. What is something about your mom that we would love to know that you know that you can actually share and she wouldn't kill you. <laughs> okay, um, if you have five dollars in your pocket, she will make you a full meal of five dollars. Are you serious? Yes, she will make a full meal with five dollars. She'll go to the grocery store and bring back a whole bunch of whatever and you will have a very good meal for five dollars. Is that what led you to become a chef? No. <laughs> Did it inspire you? A little bit, but you know, it was, you know, a lot of the time, you know, she would go on tour or whatever, and then we would have a, a nanny who was, who was a Hispanic, and you know, we, we like Hispanic food sometimes, but you know, you know, you don't want to have Hispanic food all the time, and you know, we used to cook, like my brother and sister used to lean on me to, like, I always have to cook their, you know, whatever food, because I'm always, I'm the middle child, so every, I get from both sides, you know, so I'm like, okay, I'll do it, you know. And then, you know, cook and watching my mom cook and my grandmother and, you know, just something I wanted to do. Now, do you feel that love when I opened up and I said, like, you're one of the loves of your mother's life? Because she, anytime I've interviewed her, you know, she's definitely talked about her children, her grandchild, which is from you, your, your Amanda. Uh, and she got to name her, right? Did you let her name Amanda? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> That's a false information. Stay away from the National Enquirer. <laughs> but um, do you feel do you feel that love? Like you know, how do you feel? Always, I always feel the love. You know, um, you know, Amanda has my mom's middle name that I chose to give to her on record. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I always feel the love. 
Always. Every time when I come around, she's like, why you gotta come around so more often? You gotta call me. And she'll, she'll like, if something happens, like if there's like something happens or something like that, she'll call me like, Nick, there's a car accident on the freeway by where you live. Was that you? I'm like, no, I'm no mom. I was in the bed sleep. <laughs> I was at work, you know, whatever the case may be, you know. She loves all her kids. Studio Q Show. Now you know.